cooking with Becky. Good morning. Let's... Welcome back, everybody. Well, I'm here to talk a little bit about a holiday ham. I think when you're entertaining over the holidays, you can't go wrong with a ham. Uh, you know, it's just a no-brainer. Basically, hams are already cooked and smoked, so all you need to do is heat them up in the oven, and then those leftovers, man, you can do so many things with them. So I know for sure I'm doing a ham this holiday season. I think I'm going to hopefully talk you into it, too. Now, the one thing I do like to do when I do a ham is to dress it up just a little bit with some nice decorations and then a quick, easy ham glaze. Uh, so first, I'm going to show you the glaze, and this is just three ingredients. Anybody can do this. Let me tell you, super simple, and it just takes an ordinary ham that you pick up at the grocery store to a whole new level, no matter what kind of ham you're doing, boneless, bone-in, half ham, whatever. This will just dress it up a little bit for the holidays. So it starts out with one eight-ounce can of crushed pineapple with the juice. So just get that in there. Three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. and a third of a cup of brown sugar. So that's it. Crushed pineapple, Dijon mustard, and some brown sugar. And that's gonna be your glaze. So you just whisk this together. You don't even need to heat it. And then when I bake a ham, what I'll do is I'll dress it up a little bit. We've got this beautiful ham here, and we just took canned or fresh pineapple slices, and then um, maraschino cherries and toothpicks and cloves. I st uh, studded the ham with cloves, and then put the, the pineapple rings all around the ham, and then just used toothpicks to secure some maraschino cherries in there, and that will hold the pineapple right there. And then bake it in the oven without the glaze. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know, just depends on how big your ham. It is. I usually bake at about 325, 350 degrees, and then the last hour is when you want to start glazing that ham. If you were to put it on right at the beginning, it may burn on you, and you don't want that to do that because it's got all the sugar in here. So just start glazing this ham about the last hour of baking, and let me tell you, magic will happen, and everyone's going to want this recipe, and it's just so yummy and so delicious. And then just keep chucking on it and keep glazing as you go and then pull it out of the oven and, and slice it up. And as I said, this is so wonderful with just, you know, cheesy potato. Uh, I've got a, a lot of great recipes for cheesy, cheesy potato and potato casserole recipes on our website. Maybe a nice salad and, of course, dessert. So, and then the leftovers. Man, you can do so many things with the leftovers. This weekend on Good Day Wisconsin, I'm always cooking, even on the weekends, but I'm going to turn this ham into some wonderful hot ham and cheese sandwiches, which are just delicious, and then a great holiday brunch, which is a ham and cheese strata. So if you do a ham one night, you can turn it into lots of different things. You know, ham and bean soup, I could go on and on. So the recipe for this ham glaze is on our website. It's so easy. Seriously, make it this holiday season. And uh, you can also pick it up at any festival foods. And by the way, I'm going to be out signing lots of books today and all weekend long. Uh, tonight, I'm actually going to be in Kakana at Marshall's Florist. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be in Manitowoc at La Dida, and then um, at the mall, Bay Park Square Mall on Saturday, and at Festival Foods. We canceled our Sunday signing because of the snowstorm. Um, actually, I was there, but just a few people were there, too. I don't blame you. You stayed home. But I'll be at Green Bay East Festival Foods Saturday from 9 to 11 signing books. So happy holidays. Make a ham and use it to make wonderful ham sandwiches. Pete and Rachel will be right back. Stay with us.